Hey guys, Kev here, and I have some unboxing to do for you. So, got some packages over there. Got a package right here. Just gonna rip into them. <clears throat> got my Devo Knives Mash prototype. This is a CMB prototype, so V2, I guess. Still not decided on that. This is coming from Brent over at Backpack V. I think he's just returning my knife. Some, uh, some paper in there, nothing special. And let's see, he was just sharpening a knife for me. This is the um, mini, the Arrow Mini from Boost Blades. And uh, this was loaned in by, loaned in, this was gifted to me by Josh, Josh Worth over in Australia. Oh, what's up? Man, it should be fine. Looking at the tip, it's a little bit, I don't know if that's how it was, but it's, yeah, there it is, it's there. I've never taken this apart, I'm guessing Brent didn't either. Um, it's a little off center. Really interesting little knife. Um, I may do a disassembly video just to kind of, you know, I love that ting sound though. I wouldn't want to lose that, but I think it needs to be like cleaned out and all that good stuff tuned up. But it can flick really well left handed, so that's cool. So anyway, that's the Arrow Mini. Got that back. You can see that mirrored edge on there. All right, thank you to B. Uh, we have this package from Alice Hill. I think this is some stuff for Knives Live. Um, giveaway stuff. Just gonna... All right, so I got these two nut tappers, ball tappers, I think they're called. And they got some um, matching lanyard uh, zip cords. You know what I'm trying to say. So I got those. And I think these are for Knives Live to give away. In support of Knife Rights and Knives Live 24-hour live streams, I am donating several items to be given away during your time frame. So, big shout out to Allie Cord Paracord. Definitely check out her Instagram. It's Allie Cord underscore Paracord on Instagram. Much love. Thank you, Alice. Really appreciate that. These will go in the giveaway bin, and they will be given away during Knives Live 2022. Cool. Next up, uh, this. I have this spinner from Preston. My buddy Preston. I got two of these and I really wanted a Zerk one. And they, uh, I didn't want to buy all three when I got the, the other two. And he had one for sale. So I eventually picked this up. Now look at that. It comes with all the packaging, which I don't want. There's COA in here or something. Oh comes with these glasses. I don't know. He gives you these 3D type glasses, which, you know, whatever, it's cool. But So what I have now is this one. This is a tungsten one. Zer blasted tungsten with a Zerku type button. And I took the button off, oh, off of a different one. The Zerkutai one. So I bought the Zerkutai and the tungsten one. And then I swapped the Zerkutai button onto here. And then I just put this crystallized tie button. I can't find anything good to put on here. So anyway, I wanted a black Zerk one. And yeah, it definitely has more weight than the Zerkutai, which is cool. I just always thought this looked good. It's Zer blasted zirconium. I'm guessing. Did he put... 
A cheap bastard. Preston, if you watch this, you are a cheap bastard, my friend. He took the C bearing out of it and put this stock nasty bearing back in. So, that's the Zerk M3 Metal Creations tranquilizer er extended release which means it's a little bit longer and i wanted it because then i could put maybe the black button on here or put the black button on this one and then put something else on this one and kind of just mess around with it that was my plan i honestly wouldn't mind selling one like i would sell this one but i need the button so I'd have to sell it without the button. But I like the sound of this one. So I don't know. I just like this model a lot. So that's the uh, M3 Trank. I got three of those now. Put this away. I guess there's no COA. I don't know. Or he didn't have it. So then... I have a package from Jake over at Bearded Gear. And this is a Malibu. So he picked this up for me at CCKS. That's cool. It's in the Protec box. I guess that all fit in there nicely. So I got the receipt. And this is the show exclusive Malibu. Oh yeah. CCKS, it's like a dark green. That is nice, look at that. Dark green with a mother of pearl button. Dead centered. It is 20 CV, I was kind of hoping it was Magna Cut. Honestly, I don't care. Oh, okay. Button, got a little stick. Detent is good. Crispy on the detent. Swings down. You know I want to put skips in here, which means I take it apart and mess with it. And then I'll sell it a week later with the skips in it. Because unlike some people, I don't take bearings out of things when I sell them. <laughs> At least not usually. I'm just messing around. I get it. So you got that reverse Tanto blade. I don't know why I don't remember. I don't know why I don't remember it looking just like this. This looks weird to me, this Malibu. But glad to have one back, honestly. I really love this model. It's just a great model. It's spring, is money. Yeah, they're getting better and better with that. Uh, detent. It used to, like, the first Malibus were still, like, soft-ish. You couldn't fail them, really, but this is, like, there's no fail in this. Yeah, you can get it to come out a little bit. It's just how it is with the button locks, but sick. I don't think I'll do a video disassembling this one, just because I've done so many Malibus, Mordaxes. I mean, if you guys want to see it, maybe, but by the time this video comes out, it'll be out. So, the next thing, well, guys, it's the end of an era. It is the end of an era. I know you guys were never expecting this to happen. Got me a, a label printer. Devo money, baby. Devo Knives paid for this label printer. Shout out to Devo Knives. Um, I just can't keep 
printing on paper. Uh, I love it. I honestly do. I love being able to test knives by cutting out shipping labels. <laughs> it's like my thing. But um, it's just a pain in the ass. It really is. It's not, it's not ideal. And I could ship things so much faster if I just hit print, came out, slapped the label on and taped it up. Didn't have to print it cut it out, tape that on, you know, it's just an extra bunch of steps I didn't need. So I ordered a wireless, I went baller on this. I got a wireless printer. We have a Rolo one that we got uh, at Collins house for shipping the stouts, but we're not gonna like pass that back and forth. And I needed one anyway. Um, and Colin was like, dude, just use Devo funds. Like just treat yourself. We don't pay ourselves, so we might as well <laughs> hook it up with a printer. It is wireless. I can just bang it from the Wi-Fi. And then I got uh, 500 labels. And I got this holder thing that I thought was a different shape, but I guess it, you build it or whatever. So... I will set all this up. Yeah. I will set all this up. I don't know how, where. I got to figure that part out. But I guess if it's wireless, it doesn't have to be plugged in right here. I could plug it in down. I might do that. I got a good spot for it, I think. So I'll do that. As long as my kid doesn't mess with it, we'll be good. So there you go, guys. There's some stuff for you. I got the new... I got the Malibu from CCKS. What I really like about this is they didn't do anything dumb. Oh, it says 18 of 60 here. And then on top it says ProTech and 20 CV. But they didn't put, um, you know, CCKS all down there like the Mordax I had. I sold that, by the way. I just couldn't stand that billboarding. And you know what? I just, I never end up keeping these. As much as I love ProTech flipper button locks, they never get in the pocket after a certain point, and then I never carry them, you know? I have this. This is a great button lock, but then... It's like, do I really, you know? But at least the Malibu has the reverse Tanto I can use for shipping labels. I still, I still need a warranty more than anything for what I do. Sh cutting bags and shit like that, so... Um... That's it, guys. I just wanted to do an unboxing of random shit. So let me know what you think. I love you guys really, truly, dearly. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Oh, and by the way, by the time this posts, Knives Live 2022 will be over uh, the 24-hour live stream anyway. It's on November 4th through 5th. But I will have given away those uh, from Alley Court Paracord along with other stuff. And you'll be seeing the live stream for the prize giveaway the grand prize giveaway i got a closet full of shit as usual and um should be pretty epic so i love you guys i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later